Hi, this is Juanita McDowell, and today I want to give you five quick iPad tips that most people don't know. Tip number one, how to select a paragraph, and I mean in the shortest number of steps possible. Let's go to my recipe for New England clam chowder, and you see there's a paragraph at the top. The quickest way to select that paragraph is to tap it four times in rapid succession. And there you have it. You have the option to copy, select all, or speak. This old-fashioned authentic cake convert. Tip number two, use the status bar to reach the top. Let's say you're on a web page and you reach the bottom. What's the quickest way to get to the top? Not scroll, but hit the status bar one time and it automatically takes you to the top. Number three, and my favorite of all, create keyboard shortcuts. Talk about will save you time. Let me show you how to set this up. Go to general and then select keyboard. Now, as you see, there are shortcuts. Scroll down and add as many as you want. As you see, I have several things that I type all the time, like gmail.com. I've given the keyboard shortcut GM or my business in Motion Real Estate Institute. I've given INM. So whenever I type those, it will automatically give me a shortcut. So here's an example. Let's say my phrase is, thank you for choosing in Motion Real Estate Institute. Wow, that's a mouthful. Watch how I'm going to basically select three letters and now the next time I type it in an email or anywhere on my iPad, it automatically pops up as a selection. So I'll go ahead and type that in now. And now the shortcut, I'll give that will be T-Y-I. Save. And now the next time I want to type that up, let's say in an email, and I want that exact phrase, all I need to type in is T-Y-I. And as you see, the keyboard gives me the selection for thank you for choosing in Motion Real Estate Institute. I'll hit my space bar to select it. How much time does that save me? Number four, split and undock your keyboard. This is a favorite among my students. Let me show you how to set the split keyboard and I'll show you how to undock it. Go to settings, go to general, and right under international keyboards, you'll see a sl an option to split keyboard. Make sure that's turned on. Now, when you're ready to type, you're able to split your keyboard. Very cool. In addition, you can also undock it. Right now my keyboard is docked, but when I hold the keyboard button, I can undock it, which will raise it up. And now I can have an undocked keyboard that's split. Very cool. And tip number five, how to change time zones. If you go out of town and you happen to find yourself in a different time zone, you want to make sure your appointments reflect the new time zone. Let me show you how to make sure that's set up properly. Go to settings, go to mail, contacts and calendars, come down until you see calendars, time zone support, and make sure that's on and set in your proper time zone. I hope you enjoyed these five quick iPad tips. If you'd like an iPad workshop at your next convention or conference or corporate meeting, visit www.theipadworkshop.com. This has been Juanita McDowell. Thanks for watching.